Hello, I'm Robert of Dead Art Studios and this is Painting with Dead Art Studios and today I'm on a new painting and this is a painting that is on birch panel and I'm starting off here with a yellow background and it's a continuation of my volcano theme and in the last video I uploaded we were finishing off my volcano study painting and from what I learned from that uh, I've taken over to this painting and this is a start here and we're just putting in the background colour which is a sort of off yellow which I've created by using cadmium yellow with a tiny tiny bit of carbon black in it and uh, it gives it a sort of green hint a lot of blacks can be made up of dark hues with greens and things in like that so I'm just pushing it as thinly as I can and trying to even it all out and then we're going to start uh, with the volcano painting on it so I hope you guys have all had a good week. Uh, it's been about a week since I uploaded last. I have my cocoa with me here that I'm just drinking uh, at the same time as on my uh, video there. And it's been a busy week. I've done quite a lot of work on my painting and my drawing. Uh, but also life's been doing life and uh, keeping me busy there. And I hope everyone's had a nice time. In the last week, I managed to get what they wanted to do done to some degree. And now we can just relax a little bit and I'll just chat about uh, painting and things around it. And yeah, this painting is an interesting one and I've been working on it off camera after this initial session. And it took a bit of a strange turn. Just laying down the sort of horizon for the mountain. It's going to be a zoomed in version of my last volcano painting. Uh, so the mountain and then we have the uh, eruption there. But the eruption has become not an eruption now. It's become a sort of far more abstract eruption. Uh, as you'll see what I'll do is I'll do a finishing off this piece video. Uh, where I do the last touches and then you'll see how it's turned out. Uh, it's been a long process and uh, I've just been concentrating really on this painting and obviously I want to do a good painting but what I really wanted to achieve was one that I could look at and I couldn't pick out any sort of technical faults or issues so no like globby bits of paint, no rough edges, no like obviously poor strokes or bits of dust or anything like that in the painting something that's just technically on that side of things uh, perfect and not worrying quite as much about the actual content and meaning or you know look at the painting the colors and stuff not thinking too much about that obviously thinking about that but just trying to get it as professionally finished as as possible and that led me to make quite a few decisions in terms of how I think I might want it to hang on someone's wall um, I probably went for it to be more of a the idea of it overall in the end being a decorative piece rather than being a a volcano piece, shall we say. Uh, so with this I'm just using sort of black to roughly block in the area that I want to have as a mountain and then the smoke on the right hand side there and then the main eruption and that copies pretty closely what I did in my study painting. And I liked how I laid this down. It was nice and easily done. Uh, it all went down how I wanted in terms of the shape of the mountain and the sort of proportions of the eruption and smoke in relation to the mountain. And I did really like my ridge that I'm sort of like dabbing in now and how that turned out. That's, In fact, I think my favourite bit about the painting was how I did the sort of ridge on mountain. And then the eruption itself became a bit of a, an issue for me. And so sort of, I ended up pivoting on that and turning it into some, basically using tapes and abstract colours to block in some geometric shapes rather than in the general shape of an eruption, but not trying to paint an eruption itself. Um, and I think the reason for that is just how I thought, you know, how it might hang on someone's wall and who might want to hang such a thing on one's wall and you know as part of my practice I'm trying to figure out how to 
make a living from painting, ultimately. And I made some decisions to test the more professional side of painting. And I think people often accuse, like Damien Hurst, of being less art and more art market, which uh, I don't know, that's a long discussion to have, isn't it? Uh, not what I'm going to do right now, but maybe for this I decided to go more art market and think less about uh, my initial sort of thing of just being interested in painting a volcano and think, oh, what, what, what would somebody want as a piece in the house, you know? And uh, that in itself, I think, is an interesting endeavour to try and uh, fulfil. So that's kind of where we went with that. And hopefully it'll be finished quite soon and we'll have the finishing off this piece to follow this video. There might be one in between. Uh, I have a bit more work on this, but I don't know. I might just push through to the finishing off of this piece because we've got more paintings to do. And I've been uh, doing some studies, colour studies and uh, landscape studies. And I've been so just working on A4 paper and I bought uh, a packet of um, frame mounts. And uh, the paper I've got is A4, but the frame mount is A4. So, you know, it's probably more to an A5 picture with the frame mount on. And I've been doing quick evening studies uh, of that size on uh, acrylic paper and a bit of sort of canvas paper as well. And I've had a couple of uh, successes with that and I think I've had a couple of failures with that as well. I think that's the whole point. Uh, and I've certainly found an interesting new colour palette or companion colours that I want to try a sort of agricultural landscape with. Uh, which I quite liked working on it and I got some ideas for how to make that uh, a more serious piece and I think I will do that on one of my next birch panels and I also have some modelling medium uh, and I want to try and do a sort of heavy relief sort of 3D almost sculpture onto another one of those panels as well as well as uh, a couple more of the volcano themed sort of more abstract paintings with different colour themes to the ones that I have chosen for this one to sort of see uh, how they look in relation to each other, you know, using some cooler colours, some blues and greens and uh, maybe just some black and white and something like that, you know, some monochrome, that could be quite interesting. So here now I'm laying down the eruption with the palette knife. I think it's just a cadmium red, and I've used a gloss acrylic uh, medium on this uh, to sort of thin out the paint a bit, but also, you know, make it suitable for putting on in larger amounts with impasto and also to leave a glossy, uh, glossy finish on the paint as well. So, I sort of just getting the basic shape and laying it down. Um, nothing too. Uh, spectacularly interesting about that, just getting it down and getting it covered and getting the rough shape of the volcano. And I think actually that this is where, you know, some of the, <coughs> excuse me, the old upper respiratory infections are back again, unbelievably. Um, yeah, I think this is where some of the initial ideas started to go left of field with this, just with how I painted this with some of the offshoots and if I hadn't have done some of the side off shoot pieces of eruption on this, I might never have actually taken the route that I did. Sorry, I need to cough again. <coughs> um, excuse me. Uh, one day I'll be able to do one of these videos without coughing. Uh, that's not happened so far. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I think the way I put this down did lead me ultimately to push away from it, uh, actually and try something else, but also I realised with my pain I'm sort of really quite flippant and quick to change my mind on things, uh, I'll leave them out and look at them and, and then I'll think, well what if I do this and then I'll just do it and then that whole idea is left behind and it's become a whole new idea and in some way that's 
kind of cool, but also it's kind of like you're never finishing what you set out to do. You're always taking, you know, instead of heading to the destination, you're always taking left and right turns off somewhere else. Uh, so that's what happened in this one anyway. <sighs> uh, I've also been thinking about how I'd frame this and whether I'd have a sort of surrounding black frame or whether I'd just paint the edges. I'm probably black in this case. You could do, like, copy the painting onto the sides and sort of extend it round. Uh, but I think I'll just do it black. And uh, question, I think I might just do that and leave off a frame and then put a mount, uh, just some mounting cord on the back. So you just hang it like that. And I suppose if you wanted to frame it more formally, then one could do that at any time then. I'm mixing up a bit of cad orange and cadmium red uh, to put some more colour down on the volcanic eruption. And yeah, I, uh, I've had a few people watching my videos this week, a few views, and thank you to all the people who have tuned in who might be interested in. I hope you're all doing well. I'd love to hear from you if you wanted to leave a comment or anything like that. Uh, so you're just throwing the orange down there anyhow, getting it on. Um, yeah, I hope you've uh, sort of managed to do what you want to do this week and you've managed to find some time for yourself as well. Uh, I've certainly had a hard week, hard sort of family child care week um it can be challenging as well as super rewarding and i'm certainly tired now but i'm committed to getting these videos done and out on my first year here in youtube and also to practice and study art as well which is you know Something I always wanted to do, and something that I never did, seriously. Uh, I had opportunities in life to, to to take that path. And I always felt like it was the risky path. And so I always took the more sensible path. And I think now I've finished with the sensible paths and realised they don't actually go anywhere particularly great. They can, they can. Uh, just for me and my circumstances and how my life sort of has progressed and sort of changed. Uh, I, I almost wish that I'd just sort of taken my art more seriously. I, know, I don't know. I, I'm happy where I am in life and I wouldn't have got here without doing what I did. But, you know, if you're out there and you're thinking, should I, should I do something arty with my life? I think it should. Um, but uh, also remember to stay financially secure for your family and yourself, <laughs> wherever necessary. Uh, that's pretty important. So um, yeah, but I'm here now and I'm doing it. So let's see where it goes. And this is a it's a fifteen minute video just under, so we're coming to the end now and I'll be back soon hopefully with the next one in this and you'll see where it's gone. It's gone pretty crazy and I'm not sure if I like it, but it's like I say, it's gonna be a test in professionalism and finishing the piece and having it looking perfect in that respect, no matter what other I think of the content on this occasion. Anyway, I hope you have a nice time. It's good to speak to you in the Take care. Bye.